Hi, I'm Jess. Hey, I'm Austin. Hi, I'm Floyd Norman, veteran Disney artist and storyteller. I worked on great films like Sleeping Beauty, Hunter Wind Dalmatians, Sword in the Stone, and Walt's final film, The Jungle Book. And that ties into our task today because from Walt Disney's The Jungle Book, we are going to be drawing Little Mowgli and Ka the Python. Oh man, that's gonna be cool. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Floyd, speaking of what we're drawing today, do you have like a favorite sequence from the Jungle Book that you worked on? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I would say hands down my favorite sequence uh, because uh, I, I, I guess because I was so involved in it was was the wonderful, uh, the second meeting uh, of Mowgli and Ka. Walt, <laughs> Walt wanted a song and Robert and Richard Sherman uh, wrote a song called Trust in Me. Uh, that we took that song and Vance and I, my partner Vance Gary, uh, re-storyboarded the, the, the sequence we had already, we'd already made one pass, but once we had a song at the suggestion of Walt Disney, we reboarded the sequence and it's Mowgli as he sort of wanders around half dazed, half asleep, and the coils of the snake. And beautifully animated by Frank Thomas, I have to add that Frank one of the nine old men did just a masterful job of bringing my drawings to life on screen and just making that sequence sparkle. Yeah, I've got a question for you guys uh, because uh, sure. you're younger mm -hmm. and, and uh, <laughs> just coming into this into this amazing business. Did you guys animate on paper? Did you do traditional hand drawn animation? Less for full animation and more for design for animation. But in college, that's how we learned to animate was traditionally. Yeah, yeah, the basics, the, the basics, the bouncing ball, squash and stretch, you, you, you got a sense of uh, weight and volume. These traditional animation principles still come in handy. Even after you make the move to digital, it's good to come from that, you know, that basic solid foundation. Like, what's the secret to drawing a good Mowgli and Ka, Mr. Floyd? Well, you know, uh, Mowgli and, and Ka, the python, uh, were animated by the top Disney animators. And Milt Call in particular, we would get Milt Call's drawings, his sketches, his rough sketches, not always final sketches, but his very rough drawings. And we would study his technique that's how you got to be better. That's how you became a better artist. You saw the best work and you emulated that. So how do you do a good Mowgli drawing? How do you do a good drawing of Ka the Snake? Study the work of those who are better than you are. Yeah, I draw with Crayo I draw with Crayola, so I'm just <laughs> I'm just like sitting here, doesn't, just like oh matter. okay. <laughs> I'm just like you okay, can, I guess I gotta. You could, you could still make a good drawing with a crayon. Hey Jess, Austin, how are your drawings coming? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's actually looking okay. How's your drawing coming, Floyd? Uh, my, my only challenge is to, as I often tell my students, I try to draw him on model. Because when a Disney character is drawn off model, oh boy, that's regarded as a sin. Um, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I definitely Fear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it, I started out in the 1950s. By the time I got to the early 70s uh, and I was animating on a Disney feature film, I was beginning to feel like maybe I know a little bit about animation now. And I was animating Robin Hood. And this was in, around, yeah, the early 70s we were doing Robin Hood. And I, and I was animating The Fox. And uh, it was fun. I was enjoying myself and I was having a great time. But, you know, it takes a while to build that kind of confidence and you have to do a lot of bad stuff before you can start to do a lot of good stuff. Would you say that was your favorite film? Actually, it was one of the films that I liked the least at Disney. <laughs> 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 well, because Walt Disney owned the studio, mm -hmm. after all, it, it was his studio, he could walk into your room at any moment, unannounced. 
And Walt would do that. People don't, you know, it, big bosses and executives don't do that today. They usually, you know, when they're coming, there's been announcements and yeah, preparations. But Walt Disney could simply one day just wander into your office and you look around and there's the boss standing in your office. Oh my goodness. So you feel like what you want to do is just fall off your chair and hide under your desk. But, <laughs> but you can't. You, you can't. Can't do that. He's already seen you. Can't mm-hmm. hide. But that's okay. He, he was he was a good guy. I, I, I don't mean to say this, that Walt could be intimidating, but he wasn't a bad guy. You know, he was... It, he didn't treat people poorly. He was, he was very generous, very gracious, and uh, I never had any problems with the boss. Oh, that's awesome. Hey guys, how are you finishing your drawings? Uh, I'm making it up, so <laughs> I don't, I'm just like, hey, so I should probably draw a background. Oh wait, I don't know how to draw those. Anyway, time to make it up. So like, I'm drawing some, I think what are leaves, okay. and uh, trees, and bushes. And uh, it's fine. Uh, we'll just okay. Pretend. Yeah. You, you don't necessarily have to draw a background. I mean, you can just sometimes just throw in a splash of color. Yeah, it's, it's really not much of a background. I say background to be nice to myself. It's really just like blotches of color. And I'm like, yeah, this is fine. I don't know what I'm... Nothing wrong with a good blotch. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. You can, be, you can be the judge of that. Oh, oh wow. So cute. Oh my god. Wow. These are so, <laughs> These are <good>. so cute. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Floyd's yours is so cute. You gave it like a little blush. There's like no comparison. It's just, it's a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent Mowgli. The Mowgli up in the tree at night. It's it, it really interesting, but you know, that was one of the, some of the first stuff animated uh, on the Jungle Book was that sequence of Mowgli up in the tree at night and Ka, you know, sneaking around. And then this is nice uh, with the uh, the jungle background and, and Ka. Really nice. I yeah. love your poses, Austin. It's so cute. I am very impressed. These are, these are really nice. Wow, thank you. Yeah, you guys, you put me to shame. Oh no! Don't say that! <laughs> I'm gonna go scream! I bet. Oh my gosh! I've been upstaged by the kids. Literally. 100% inspired by the master, so. For real. Uh, hey, I will give you the Walt Disney compliment. You know, and, and Walt was not lavish handing out compliments, but he, if he liked what you did, he would say two words. That'll work. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, and, and that that was high praise from Walt Disney. That'll work. Uh, I'm having a crisis. <laughs> I'm having like an actual crisis right now. <laughs> just like Austin's just fangirling over here. Just I like, am. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm trying to keep it together. I'm just like, okay, no, it's cool. Like, be cool. And I, I'm like losing it. To check out these drawings and more just like them, check us out on Instagram at Draw Off Show. Mm-hmm.